In this video, I'll be sharing with you how I started with DIY electronics and robotics. If you are a beginner and getting started in these fields, this video will help you a lot. I'll be taking you through everything I did from learning basic electronics to building my own robots. So let's get started. If you are looking for a professional course that will kickstart your career in robotics, I highly recommend you to watch this video. In this video, I explained everything you need to know about this course that will help you to get a dream job in the field of robotics. The first thing I did was understanding the basics of electronics. I wanted to know how electronics work, how the electricity works, what different components do, how circuits are made and all these kind of basic things. I started with different electronic books, some magazines, YouTube tutorials, as well as websites like Axter and Arduino Project Hub, these kind of websites from where I could collect more information about different hobby projects and circuits. They helped me a lot to learn about the fundamentals of electronics like voltage, current and resistance. If you are getting started with electronics, make sure you spend a little bit more time in this step because learning basic is very very important. After understanding the basics, I wanted to build something with my own hands. So I bought some simple components like LEDs, resistors, capacitors, breadboards and jumbo wires and I started making my own tiny tiny circuits. And after that I started with some very simple projects like turning on and off LEDs with a switch or changing the brightness of an LED with a potentiometer, these kind of very very basic circuits. And once I was comfortable with these basic components, I moved on to some advanced components like transistors which can be used as switches or inductors, diodes which can be used to control the current flow and sensors and motors. For example, circuit that allowed me to control the speed of DC motor or circuits that allowed me to turn on the LED when the ambient light is low and turn off the LED when the ambient light is high. At this point, I also discovered so many electronic kits that can be bought online or offline with all the necessary components as well as project guides which made this study really really interesting. I will leave the link to these kits in the description below so make sure you check it out if you are interested. Another thing that was happening in parallel was as I started building more and more projects, learning about circuit diagrams helped me a lot to understand other people's circuit and make my own projects. This is also very important because learning about circuit diagram will help you to understand all the details about the circuit including the components used and it will help us to understand what exactly is going on in that circuit. If you are a beginner and getting started with electronics, make sure you master this skill because without this skill it will be very hard to go forward and it will be nearly impossible to make complex projects. And at this point, I could understand most of the circuit that I see online, modify them and sometimes make my own. But I wanted to do more. That's when I decided to shift gear to robotics. A robot is simply a machine that can move and do some tasks based on your instructions. So basically, I started combining everything I learned in the previous steps. Motors, it will help the robot to move. Sensors, that will help the robot to sense its environment and a power source that will power up the whole robot. The first project that I made was a line for robot. Basically it's a robot that follows a black line on a white surface. It was very simple, it didn't have any kind of microcontrollers. All it had was some motors and an IR sensor and a small circuit to drive the motor as per the output it received from the IR sensor. If you are interested you will find this video in our channel, make sure you check it out. As I started building more and more robots, I understood that using breadboard for all the projects doesn't seem to be really nice. It will become messy when the circuit become more and more complicated. It was at that time I started learning about making your own circuit boards. To be honest, at first I thought making your own PCBs was hard and it turns out it's not. With proper tools, we can draw our own schematics, design our PCBs and manufacture our own. And guys, I would like to introduce you to a tool that I've been using for a very very long time. Altium is a PCB designing tool that can be used to create simple PCBs for hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium and if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you're going to love it. An Altium subscription includes Altium 365 which lets you design, share and manufacture your projects in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage allows you to share designs and ideas with teammates or even clients. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. You can download and install the trial version from the link in the description below. 
So this made my robot look more smaller, more reliable and better looking. At this point, I could build simple robots with simple components without any kind of coding. But there were so many limitations. So I wanted more control. It was at that time I started learning about microcontroller, especially Arduino. Arduino is a small but powerful programmable microcontroller which can be used to control sensors, motors or other electronic components. Basically it can get information from the sensors, process it and drive the actuators for example motors accordingly. So when I started incorporating microcontroller to my simple robots, I could program the microcontroller to do more complex things and make the robots more smarter. Alexa, turn on forward. Alexa, turn on left. And also guys, I would like to share with you a free opportunity for you to start learning about circuit drawing as well as PCB designing. If you are truly into electronics and PCB, check out Altium Student Lab and you can get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365 to work with your friends and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. You can use your university or school email to start for free. You can try that as well for free by clicking the link in the description below. Learning Arduino was very easy for me because at the right time, I found a really good Arduino kit. This kit contained most of the simple components like LED, resistors, capacitors, so many different kind of sensors, motors, and there were so many wires that helped me to connect sensors directly to the Arduino. So I didn't have to find individual components and sensors that will work with Arduino. Everything was already there in the kit. In the description of this video, you will find the link to the Arduino kit that I use for my studies. So if you are really into electronics and robotics, make sure you check it out as well. And to be honest with you guys, during my studies, there were a lot of mistakes that I did that caused me to lose a lot of time and money. But I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. So I have created a different video where I explain all the mistakes and misunderstandings that I had or I did when I started learning electronics. So make sure you check that out as well. So basically, that's how I got started with DIY robotics and electronics. So to sum up, first, learn the basics of electronics. That will be the most important step. Learn how to draw the circuit diagrams. Learn how to use basic components like resistors, capacitors and LEDs. After that, you can go to some advanced components like transistors, inductors, motors, sensors and all these kind of things. At this point, you should be able to start making your own simple robots. And after that, you can learn microcontrollers like Arduino to incorporate in your robotic project and make your robot more smarter and do everything you want. I hope this video will help you in your robotic journey. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you find this video useful, give this video a like and subscribe for more awesome videos. See you in the next video.